Wow. We're going to take the bike over to a Yamaha dealership to find out why the check engine light is on. So we'll get them to check that and the ABS light and do an oil change. Really nice to have the opportunity to shower and charge equipment and clean things up and just have a place to be able to check the bike over. Very grateful. Yamaha shop here in uh, the city has checked it over and says the uh, the ABS is causing the check engine light to come on. So not to worry and they did an oil and a filter change and it was basically a hundred bucks Canadian. It is 1.30 and I'm heading out for San Miguel de Allende. Should be just like an hour and then I'll carry on from there to a smaller town. Lots of traffic, but cute. Very cute. No sal, no chile, right? It's 8.30. I am out of my place in Lyon and I'm heading for Zaka, Zaka Casta, which is about four hours away. This is Plato Grande, some sort of pork stew with uh, tacos. It's great. And the bike's right there, so. I feel safe. Okay, hey, this is looking good. Cathedral's right there. There's motorcycle parking right in front. And there's a coffee shop right beside it. It is nine o'clock and I am on my way out of Zacatecas, which has been a really wonderful town. Really enjoyed it. 
I was here on a Saturday night, which was kind of fun. Lots of people around having fun outside and in the, in the clubs. Very progressive city. Um, yeah, just very cool. And I'm heading northwest towards Durango. I don't think there's going to be much videoing today. It's going to be very flat, very strange. Cute hotel with Faith safely tucked away in the courtyard. Wi Fi is not great, but I don't really need it. And lots of cool places to hang out. Hotel from the front. Not much to this little town. Mapimi, which has been interesting. Not a lot to do here. And the hotel was okay. It had no lock on the door. And the air conditioner was stuck on. So it was very cold all night. But other than that, it was... Uh, a pretty hotel. Getting close to Guachochi. Not a bad little lunch. <clears throat> I just realized there's no internet down in the in the uh, canyon, which probably means that the hotels don't take visa. So I'm gonna pop into the ATM before I leave. I am stopping to put another layer on. 19 degrees, which feels ridiculous. Patopiles. Some of the switchbacks on this road are breaking down into gravel. A bit treacherous if you're going too fast. Descend here.
Wow. How you say en espanol? Wow. <laughs> Little drone flight, chatted with some locals, waiting for their engine to cool down so they could keep on climbing. This place is remarkable. Holy crap. Drive this in beat up old trucks. Oh, this one doesn't look too old. It's a long hill to come down. But people gotta have their yogurt. here. Looks like we're going over a slide. Yep. Jeez. There's the river at the bottom. Little goats all over the road.
Hola. Hola. Uh, ¿Dónde está Hotel Juanita? Juanitas. Ok. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Hola. I should have filmed that rolling through the living room there uh, to bring the bike into this lovely courtyard. My room's right there and the river's right there. Okay, it is 8.30 <clears throat> and I am leaving the incredibly beautiful Patopilas. Such a surprise. I think this is one way. Better go down here. The river road. It's so cute the way that they've put little trails and playing fields on the river and the kids play in it in the afternoon. I saw a volleyball game going on just up here last night. Burro. So this was once again all about mining, silver mining, back in the 17th century, originally by the Spaniards and then the Americans. Not much of it benefiting the locals, but they got infrastructure and bridges, a railroad. The town is apparently five kilometers long, which I can believe. I was really surprised at how long it was. Yeah, looks good. Well, goodbye little town, that was really fun. I actually think this is my road here, although I don't recognize any of the names on it. Maybe not. Unless it's this one here. Huh? Could be. Looks like this is it. Which one? 
which one? I think it's this one. Yep. We're gonna do a little river crossing. Amazing scenery. Wow. Oh, well, from the river, you just get onto a pretty steady climb on good gravel. How many of these switchbacks I gotta do? I'm trying to find ways to conserve energy. Because <laughs> there's a long way to go. So I'm sitting on most of it. Some of them are tricky because they've got fairly loose gravel. But it's uh, pretty straightforward so far. I am definitely uh, a bit timid after dropping the bike and not being able to bring it back up again and being solo I find I'm uh, being quite timid which you know kind of increases the workload in a lot of ways but I just uh, I just can't afford to drop the bike out here by myself went away from the edge of the canyon now a little bit flatter so the views aren't as spectacular, but the riding's easier and it is very pretty. And there's little tiny farms and stuff up here. That is Batopiles, all the way down there. Crazy. The only traffic I've seen this morning. Cattle guard? Seem to be climbing again.
seem to be going down again. And that's why they call it Copper Canyon, because it's green. Going down now for, I don't know, 45 minutes. A bit scrabbly. More just intimidating the drops. Huh. And I'm getting low on fuel. size. Hopefully they will have gasoline and maybe even a restaurant. Which I am doing very, very slowly. Sight for sore eyes. Not much here.
Hola. Necesito gasolina. Aquí. Hola. Necesito gasolina. Yeah, really? Ooh. Regular. Wow. Un poquito. Right there. Cinco minutos. Hmm. Cinco minutos. Ten minutes that way. Ah, okay. Okay. Bueno, gracias. I don't know if there's actually gas. Another kilometer down this road seems unlikely. But I think that's what they said. We'll swim. And uh, looked at the map again and Enrique, Eureke, is just uh, just a couple of kilometers down the road, and it has a gas station. So I am happy. Hola. Restaurante? Restaurante? I stopped to get a Coke and some water, and the people told me about a little hostel at the end of the road on the river. is pork and guacamole, fries, quesadilla, and the sweetest freshly squeezed grapefruit I've ever seen, tasted. Just up river from the hotel, it's this nice little swimming hole, and the water is quite cool, very refreshing. Very fluffy. <laughs>
and I am out of my lovely little place in Eureka and headed for Creel. Pretty smooth gravel though. Not like yesterday. At least not yet. Bathrooms and a viewpoint. Never seen this in Mexico. That's about it. What a crazy place. Once you get away from the canyon edge, it's a pretty smooth gravel road with the odd little rock patch. Oh wow! Pavement. For a bit, maybe. 